Hey everybody, it's Scott Hansen from theriffle.blogspot.com. I'm here to do another tying tutorial. Only this time we're not going to tie a whole fly. I'm just going to show you uh, the procedure to getting your thread started on the hook. This is uh, the first procedure you'll learn in any fly tying class, pretty much. It's the first one that I teach in my Joy of Fly Tying classes. And yet, um, it's, it's pretty simple, but still some people have some difficulty with it. So I'm going to show you how to do it here um, in video form and hopefully it'll help you get started. I've got a bear hook in my vise here. This is a long shank streamer hook. Not sure what model it is. Maybe a TMCO 300 or something like that. And I've got some heavy duty size A rod wrapping thread here so hopefully you can see what I'm doing real, real well. And I'm just going to start my thread on the hook. This is called a jam knot. It's not actually a knot at all. Um, but uh, that's what it's called. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. First things first, I am right handed. So I'm going to hold the tag end. This is called the tag end of my thread, the part that's coming out of my bobbin. I'm going to hold that with my left hand on my side of the hook. Then I'm going to put the my bobbin, I'm just going to kind of put it over the hook like this and you can start it at the back of your of your fly, you can start it in the middle of your fly you can start it up by the eye um, it doesn't really matter although that depends on the fly that you're tying some flies I like to start in certain spots usually we can just start it any old place so I'm going to hold on to the thread here with my left hand on my side of the hook I'm going to have the bobbin on the opposite side of the hook like that and I'm just going to wrap over the hook shank a couple of times right in front of that thread that I'm holding on to. Now I'm just going to kind of pull this straight back and I'm going to wrap over it wrapping backwards over that over the hook shank and standing the tag end of the thread here and I put three or four just in this case about six or eight wraps on there and the threads on the hook. That's all there is to it. That's called a jam knot. You don't have to do a half hitch or anything. You can if you want to. Uh, just to make things a little bit more secure. But this, just the weight of the thread and the bobbin hanging on here is uh, good enough to hold it in place. So once you wrap over it uh, two or three times that thread is on there you can start tying your fly. I'll take it off the hook again and I'll show you one more time. So I've got the, my bobbin in my right hand, since I'm right handed. I've got the thread in my off hand, or my left hand. I'm going to hold it on my side of the hook. I'm going to put the bobbin over and around the hook shank here. Take a couple wraps. And then just kind of wrap backwards over that thread, those thread wraps. Holding on to the thread with your left hand so it's nice and tight. You get three or four wraps on there, and it's good to go. You can trim this off now. Trim off your excess, and start tying your fly. You can you tie on your tail or whatever the first material is, and that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully, you've learned something here today, and uh, I will see you next time when I tie an actual fly. Thanks for looking. Bye bye.